Following developing news in Hampton, investigators have been at a home all day looking for clues in what local police say is a homicide investigation. But we learned this is connected to serial killings in Connecticut. The FBI and Hampton police searched the home on Gunwood Drive since early this morning off Mercury Boulevard, and police just wrapped up for the day because of the weather. Then on your side's Aaron Kelly has been at the home all day, and what have you learned about the investigation, Aaron? Well, it's been a very busy day. Behind me, you can see some of the debris that they pulled out from the backyard, put in the front yard so they could start their digging process. They've been out here since 8 in the morning. As you said, they just wrapped up because of the weather, but they'll be back out here tomorrow morning searching for evidence. It's unnerving, really is. I mean, it's in, it's in your neighborhood now. It is actually in your neighborhood now. Brenda Baldwin watched as police searched the home across the street with cadaver dogs Thursday. Hampton police say the Greater New Britain Serial Killer Task Force in Connecticut contacted them for help with investigations into multiple homicides, and they started searching this home on Gumwood Drive. Baldwin's mind started racing. If there is anything going on over there, how long has it been going on? Um, and when I saw the mobile command center, that's when I thought, oh no. Records show William Devin Howell used to live at the home on Gumwood Drive. Howell is the man investigators suspect in the murder of at least seven people whose remains were found behind a Connecticut shopping center. Hampton Police, Suffolk Police, and the FBI have joined the search, which has included ground penetrating radar. And we currently have begun a grid search of the ground uh, where we're starting the tedious process of starting to dig through uh, several different different areas in the ground. Police say they are looking in the yard, home, and garage. A source close to the investigation tells 10 on your side police were searching for possible body parts, blood, and clothing. And I did talk to the owner of the home who tells me he's owned the property for 10 years. He says that Howell did live in the home off and on for several years, but never formally lived in the home. He called him a nice person, says he couldn't believe he'd be guilty of anything. For now, we're live in Hampton. Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.